Hey beautiful people, this is your girl Nikki with Nikki Savory Vegan Eats and welcome to another episode. So does anyone want to take a wild guess of what I'm going to be making today? Okay, so I'm going to give you a couple of hints. So the first hint is that this dish is, well, savory. So my second hint is that this dish can actually be prepared out during the fall and winter months. It's a soup based type of dish. Definitely something that can actually stick to the bones and keep you nice and warm at night. So my third and final clue to what I'm actually gonna be making consists of brown gravy, onions, carrots, potatoes. Should I stop? Should I keep going? Or have you guys figured it out yet? But notice that there's one main ingredient that I actually left out on purpose because if I had told you what it was, you guys would have known. Okay, enough with the hints already. You guys already probably figured out or you just simply looked at the title of my video so you know exactly what I'm making tonight. But I'll go ahead and tell you anyway. I am gonna be making a savory vegan pot roast using jackfruit. That's right. I'm making a vegan pot roast using jackfruit. And I'm gonna actually boil my jackfruit for an hour because I wanna make sure that I boil out the brine as well as making sure that there's not gonna be a hint of sweetness left to my jackfruit. Jackfruit is naturally sweet. So you wanna make sure if you're gonna make this pot roast that you actually remove the sweetness unless you like a sweet pot roast. So for those of you who are looking for a quick and easy way of making this vegan pot roast, I'm gonna show you a quicker way to make this pot roast by simply putting it on top of the stove. But just because I like my sauces to be nice and savory, I'm gonna take that extra step and I'm gonna actually put my vegan pot roast inside of the oven once it's finished cooking on top of the stove. That is purely optional and you don't have to follow this step, but I just like for my sauces to bake in really, really well together. So stay tuned as I make out my vegan pot roast. So first I'm gonna take my jackfruit in which I boiled in a pot for one hour and add to my cast iron skillet and sear it very nicely. Next, I'm gonna add one small cup of sliced onions and mix them thoroughly with my jackfruit. I'm gonna take some fresh garlic and shallots in which I already finely sliced and add it to my jackfruit with my onions as well. I'm going to add some dried parsley flakes to my seared jackfruit, as you can never go wrong by adding some additional herbs. I'm adding a small cup of red cooking wine as it's gonna give my jackfruit some nice flavor as well as my gravy. Pouring in a little browning liquid as it's going to turn my jackfruit into a nice color and give it some extra flavor. I'm sprinkling in just a little of pink Himalayan salt and some pepper as well. I'm adding some thyme and would usually add rosemary as well, but I simply ran out. Then I'm going to take some vegan beef broth and cornstarch in which I mix prior into a bowl and add it to my seared jackfruit and allow it to simmer for a couple of minutes. So now I'm going to build out my pot by adding some minced garlic with olive oil. Next, I'm going to add some sliced red potatoes, sliced carrots, and some sliced celery. Now here's the fun part. I'm going to take my seared jackfruit with gravy sauce and add it to my mixed veggies in the pot and stir very nicely. Next, I'm going to add one cup of water, another cup of red wine to the sauce, some Worcestershire sauce. I'm going to sprinkle some garlic powder, add a little bit more of browning liquid and some A1 sauce. I'm going to sprinkle some more thyme to my sauce since I ran out of rosemary. I'm going to add one tablespoon of beetroot powder which help reduces the blood pressure and fights off inflammation. Last but not least, I'm adding some more dried parsley flakes and finally adding some cut up sage and basil to add extra flavor to my gravy sauce. All right, beautiful people. Do you all know what time it is? Y'all know what time it is. Y'all know this is my favorite segment of the video. That's right. It's time for me to taste out my savory vegan pot roast with jackfruit. You guys, this is my first time making a vegan pot roast and using jackfruit at that. 
And to me, it came out amazing. Look at all that savory goodness, you guys. You see my vegan pot roast with the jackfruit, the red potatoes and carrots. Oh my gosh, it's time for me to go all in. Here we go. All right, I'm gonna give me some of that jackfruit right here. Ooh, look at that gravy. I got me a potato and carrots. Here we go. Can I tell y'all something? Can I share something with y'all? This tastes just like pot roast. I'm not hyping it up. Oh my gosh. I'm not gonna do no instant replay. I am gonna be your instant replay. I'm about to take another bite of this. Look at that shredded jackfruit. You see that juice, that ground gravy? You got the carrots. And let me get another potato here. Oh my gosh. This looks so amazing. Oh gosh, here we go. And it's still piping hot too. So I hope I don't burn my tongue. Oh my gosh, this is so good. So in addition to adding my carrots as well as my red potatoes to my vegan pot roast, I diced up some celery as well just to give it a nice little taste. And you can use plenty of thyme and rosemary. So I was actually out of rosemary, so I did use some thyme, but I also had some leftover sage and basil. There's no rules to which herbs you can use when it comes to your pot roast. You can use whatever you like. The holidays are still among us, so there's still time left if you wanna be able to bring a different type of dish to your closest family and friends. I am Nikki with Nikki Savory Vegan Eats, and I am signing off for episode 11. Until then, I should talk to you lovely people later. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. This is so good. So good. I'm not going to tease y'all no more. I'm about to just sign on off. Okay? Bye-bye. Bye. Y'all -bye. Bye. need to see no more. Bye. I got something in between my teeth. Cut. <laughs>